subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. Red Cat Reading. Learn to read. Recycling. Trash. What happens to plastic bottles after you throw them away? What happens to cardboard boxes that you put in a dumpster? Trash has to go somewhere. After you throw things away, trucks take the trash to a landfill. It sits there forever. Landfills don't just use up space and look ugly. They also make dangerous chemicals when trash breaks down. Those chemicals go into the ground and get into the water. They cause many problems for people, plants, and animals. What if we didn't have to throw things away? What if we could turn them into something new? We can! Recycling involves turning used things into new things. Not everything can be recycled, but many things can. These things are called recyclables. How to recycle. Recycling centers are places that take recyclables. Do you have a recycling bin at home? If so, a special truck will come pick up your recyclables. Put them in the recycling bin instead of the trash. Then, put the bin near the street. You can put plastic, glass, paper, and metal in the same bin. Machines and workers will sort them at the recycling center. Then, trucks will take those things to other places. There, they will be made into new things. If you live in an apartment, there may be a special dumpster for recyclables. If not, help your mom or dad load the car. Then, take everything to a nearby recycling center. You'll need to get some items ready for the recycling center. Rinse metal cans and crush them to save space. Wash glass bottles and remove lids and loose labels. Cardboard boxes should be empty and flat. Businesses, bus stations, airports, and parks often have recycling bins. Look for them when you need to throw something away. Read the labels so you know what goes in each one. What gets recycled? Most paper can be recycled. Workers at recycling centers separate newspaper, white office paper, magazines, and other kinds of paper. Then, it goes to a paper mill or factory. There, machines shred it and mix it with water to make pulp. Machines use the pulp to make paper egg cartons, paper towels, and other items. Machines at paper mills also turn cardboard into pulp. This pulp is used to make new boxes and grocery bags. Recycled metal includes food and drink cans. Powerful magnets at recycling centers sort the different kinds of metal. Trucks take the metal to metal mills. Machines wash and melt the metal. Then it is made into thin flat sheets. The sheets are made into new cans, baking foil, and other things. Machines sort glass by color, wash it, and remove lids and labels. Different machines crush the glass into tiny pieces and mix it with other materials. Then, it is melted and shaped into new glass bottles and other items. Workers at recycling centers separate plastic by type and color. Machines crush the plastic and shape it into big blocks. Trucks carry the blocks to factories. There, workers and machines cut the plastic and melt it. Recycled plastic can be made into new plastic containers and many other things. Why recycle? Recycling is important for many reasons. Landfills are dirty and unsafe. They don't smell very good either. Germs and bad chemicals soak into the soil from all the rotting trash. 
When it rains, water carries these chemicals into rivers, lakes, and oceans. Recycling helps keep landfills small so soil and water can stay cleaner. Plastic is dangerous for ocean animals that may eat it or get tangled in it. Recycling helps keep dangerous items away from wildlife. Paper recycling saves millions of trees that animals use as homes. Trees also give us oxygen gas, which we need in order to breathe. Making things from recyclables costs less than starting with new materials. Recycling also uses much less energy, so our air stays cleaner. Recycling is easy to do, and it helps Earth and us. People, plants, and animals all benefit when we recycle. Reusing things. You can't recycle everything you no longer need. In that case, try to find a way to use it again or reuse it. Take care of things so they will last longer. When you can, fix things instead of replacing them. Donate books to a library or a used bookstore. Give clothes and toys you don't want to a thrift shop. Reducing trash. You can also reduce the amount of trash you make in other ways. Bring cloth bags to the store with you or reuse paper bags. Use cups, plates, and napkins that get washed instead of paper ones. Everyone can help. Recycling is good for people. It's also good for other living things and all of Earth. One person's trash may not seem like much, but when many people recycle, it makes a big difference. The end. Subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up for more. For more stories and worksheets, check our website.